The Retro Tank 2X is a marvelous piece of technology. It allows you to quickly and easily connect your component, composite, or S-Video equipped retro video game system to your modern TV via HDMI and line double up to 480p so that you can get a really good picture on your modern flat panel display. The problem with the case that it comes with is sometimes hitting the buttons to change the filters and change the different settings on it can be a little bit difficult. Recently, Greg Collins designed a 3D printed case designed to fit your RetroTank 2X video processor and offers it in a number of different colors, black, metallic gray, blue, and orange, available through castlemaniagames.com. Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video we are going to show you how to modify your RetroTank 2X with those cases available from Greg Collins and CastleManiaGames.com. Hey everybody, Gary here from Rock Solid Productions. If this is your first time to the channel, I want to take a second and thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking out our tutorial that we have here. If you like what you see here, do me a favor, check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. We have almost 400 videos at the time of this filming, from tips and tricks, tutorials, how-tos, product reviews, and a whole lot more. And if you really like what you see, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. That way each and every time we do come out with new content, you are kept the most up to date. So the RetroTank 2X. I love this little thing. It is a line multiplier that basically line doubles your 240p signals to 480p and allows them to look just fabulous. Games like Demon Sword are just, they're outstanding the way they look when you play through this. The design of this case, however, does not always allow you to get your fingers in, especially someone like me who has fat fingers, in between the case to be able to adjust the different settings. That's where Greg Collins design comes in. It has spots for different buttons for you. It has spots where basically it will allow you to really customize the look and feel of your retro tank. We're gonna take our retro tank, throw it on the bench, take it apart and put it back together again with the new printed case from Greg Collins. So here we have our retro tank on the bench and here is the new case. This is the gray one. Like I mentioned, there's four total colors. It is 3D printed. It actually looks really nice. There's no molding or flashing or, or anything like that that's on here. I like the fact that it has the product name integrated right into it, and it just pulls right apart like that. Inside, you'll find four screws and two buttons. So what we need to do, first of all, is disassemble our original retro tank. And for that, you're going to need to remove these screws here actually they're nuts, not screws, sorry about that, from these posts and standoffs. Now to do this you're going to need a couple tools and you may have them you know within your household stuff. I have just a dynamite 5.5 millimeter uh, nut driver here. If you don't have a 5.5 nut driver you don't want to go out like these are eight or ten dollars roughly this is what I use for my RC stuff. You can also go out most hobby shops will have this. This is called either a box wrench or a Tamiya wrench. It has a five and a half, a five, a four, and a seven millimeter, uh, basically nut driver built right into it. This comes in really handy. These shouldn't be more than like two or three dollars. So what I'm gonna use this for is I'm gonna hold the post on the bottom side with my box wrench, and then I will actually use my nut driver to remove the nuts from this side. Huh, I said to move my nuts. And honestly, this is, is bolted down so tight that really the, I'm not getting any pressure down here whatsoever, any resistance. So in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pop that out. Here you can see I can easily unscrew that. And then that's just a tray on the side for us to keep all of our hardware together in the event that I ever wanna go back to the clear case again. And with that, our top case comes apart pretty easily. And this is also just a five, you know, same size nut and everything right there. Don't use too much force on this. If it's not coming, you know, take your time. Uh, you don't want to break off the plastic pieces. And these are just nylon standoffs. That's, that's all they really are. Now, the one thing I will say, my nut driver has a slight advantage over the box wrench is first of all, this, some of these can be a little bit shallower than what I have here. So it may not go down all the way. 
Uh, this one actually does. I've had others that don't. And this is just easier to spin by hand versus that. So now with this, I should be able to pop this whole thing off, and I am. I'm gonna set the lower plastic piece aside. And now, let's see, that's the top, so we need the bottom first. And that will just lay right in there like so. And you can kind of, you know, walk it down to make sure that it's, it's fully seated in there. That's all there is to that. And now what we need to do is install our buttons. Button, button, who has the button? Someone in the comments, name the movie. I'm gonna slide the first one right there. The second one will go right there just like that. And now this is in firmly enough where I can take and I can flip it upside down and it'll stay in. So that way the buttons will stay in place. Now that you have everything kind of together, you can see how the buttons will work right there. Pretty simple. Now I'm looking at the bottom, it's like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to hold everything? Ah, I have to use my nuts that I pulled out. You're gonna love my nuts. So just holding that in, drop the screw in there. And this is, I think it's either a, a one or a zero screwdriver. And with this, unscrew it slightly to make sure the screw is seated properly in the nut before you start tightening it down. Don't crank it down too much, just, just snug it up. Do that for the other. And basically I am putting these in in kind of a star pattern where I'm going that side, that side, then I'll do that one. You don't wanna crank down on that too much. If you crank down on the screws too tightly, you're not gonna have room for the buttons to move, so be careful of that. One to go. Everything is put together as it should be. We're gonna apply power here in just a moment. So two things Ryan sells that definitely makes things easier to connect your retro tank is he does have this dedicated power supply, which makes it possible for you to connect and provide constant power to your retro tank. The other thing that he has and this is something I really needed myself, is this little guy right here. And basically what this is, is it takes you to a standard HDMI. So it'll plug in just like that. And this will allow you to use any standard HDMI cable. See, I ran into an issue with my cable that, my sis that I bought with the system where it actually became damaged due to my just getting it caught up on other things. This will allow me to cheaply and inexpensively uh, use any HDMI cable that I have. And then again, we can apply power right here, which we will do right now. So I'll go ahead and just apply power to it really quick. So you can see there's the lights. So easy now, I don't have to reach in between the two plexi cases to adjust what I have going on here. And I can do my two times and filter and all that happy fun stuff super easy to do, something I highly recommend if you have a retro tank to go ahead and do and take advantage yourself. Both the adapter here, power supply, and the case. There you have it, super easy to install. It looks great. Like I mentioned, they've got a couple different colors available. The buttons are super clicky. I don't have to reach my finger in between the plexiglass anymore. And for an additional couple bucks, having this adapter to go to a regular HDMI cable, absolutely love. Again, these are available and was sent to the channel from castlemaniagames.com. Check them out. One of the cool things, if you spend $20 and up on the website, you do get free standard and shipping and handling in the US, lower 48 states. And on most items on the website, if you use promo code ROX10, you actually save 10% on most items on the site too. Again, thanks to Ryan from Castlemania Games for sending this in. This is super awesome to use an RC term. This thing's dialed. <laughs> But uh, this, these are just my opinions. I hope you're able to follow along. Pretty easy to install. Is this something that you would pick up for yourself? And if so, what color would you go with? Basic gray was good enough for me, but they do have the other options and colors available. Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you have any comments or questions, as always, feel free to e email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We're on Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And we always have the conversation going over on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. 
Now, if you do want to stay on the leading edge of all of our content that we have here on the channel, do me a favor, head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rock solid for as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year. You can help support the future of rock solid productions. You get exclusive one-on-ones with me, early access to content and a whole lot more just like all of these awesome people that you see on screen right now. Special thanks to our latest Patreon supporter, Mike. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. Now, if you do also want to help support the channel and rock some rock solid production merchandise, rock some rock solid production, you know what I mean, head on over to our Teespring store where you've got a number of different t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and a whole lot more. It's getting ready to be spring here. Time to break out the new t-shirts and whatnot available with the NES, Super NES, and N64 cartridge designs on there. And then, like I mentioned at the top of the video too, if you like what you see here, if you want to stay informed and know when we do have new content coming out, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That way, each and every time we do have a new video that goes live, you're kept the most up to date. Again, this thing, super awesome. Greg Collins did great work here. This just a really neat little addition to enhance my enjoyment of the Retro Tank 2X that much more. I am Gary, this has been Rocksaw Productions. I thank you for watching. I'll see you real soon.